From base game updates to new packs, Sims 4 has a lot of problems with bugs, and the list of bugs from build by and gameplay and cast just seems to continue to grow. But what really are the most reported bugs on the forums? Today we're diving into the past month the most frequently requested fixes for bugs and what this means for Sims 4 gameplay fixes. Before we dive into the glitchy world of Sims 4, I'm Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims and Paralyzed news, reviews, investigations, and more. I also post links to CC, mods, and more on my community tab. And my question for you today is, have you experienced any of these bugs in your Sims 4 gameplay? So just to be clear, I'm covering only the most reported bugs within the past month. The reason I'm doing this is because these are the bugs that appear on the top pages on the forums and potentially could be the ones that the Sims team is paying most attention to. The point is, what happens is older bugs sometimes get buried by these newer bug reports. So we're going to be really interested to see that some of these are a mix of very old bugs, while others are more recent. But let's see what the top reported Sims 4 bugs are. All these are open issues that the Sims 4 team has yet to fix. So the first bug we know that the Sims team has acknowledged they are working on, thank goodness, is the influx of mean interactions. Basically, Sims are insulting each other incessantly, and this happens regardless of their relationship. But if there is a theme with any of these bugs on the forums, it's that gardening in Sims 4 is pretty much a hot mess. And trust me, these are far from the only bug reports for gardening. So this person in particular and many other Simmers were reporting that every plant that the Sims fertilize reverts back to plants previously planted. It's funny because I did hear the team say that they fixed this, but unfortunately it seems to continue to pop up again. And along with this, we have a whole list of gardening issues. And you can see from this list that clearly this Sims team really needs to figure out what the heck is going on with gardening. So if you're having any trouble with harvestables, gardening, or anything else with plants, you are definitely not alone. Now, as far as the reverted plants, luckily there is a workaround supposedly. So everybody with reverted plants, you could try the workaround where you place the plants in your household inventory, then put them in their box again. And another option is to use the testing cheats enabled and shift click on the plant to use to set it back to the gardening state. But we also love that Sims 4 has some routing issues. Now to be clear, routing is always a problem in Sims games in my opinion. All the Sims games have had some weirdness. But one problem in particular is Sims getting stuck in the bathroom. A lot of players are reporting that their Sims are getting stuck in the bathroom and they really have to completely reset them to get out of this. This has been reported on console especially, so I think that's a really interesting glitch and no one is entirely sure why this is happening. One from an older pack is Laundry Day, and I really doubt that this Sims 4 bug will come as any surprise because this is one of the few that is a very old bug that has showed up at the top of the forums. So when you place your dirty washing into the machine, there is no option to wash it. It's not even grayed out. But you do have the options to unload and to move and unload and set it down as clothing is clean and dry. Now unfortunately, I do know that there are a lot of issues still with laundry day. I personally just completely avoid using it but it is something the team really needs to revisit. The next up on the bug is definitely not a shocker either because it is from the dine out pack. For some odd reason, all my restaurant employees go to do your job except for the chef. Guests and everyone are able to enter the lot, but I am having problems with the chef entering the lot at all. And like I said, this is far from the only problems with dine out. In fact, I'm gonna list a whole forum of bugs with dine out. But if you are having a lot of problems with dine out and you can use mods, I would highly recommend downloading Carl's mod, which is actually going to get an update very soon. Now, one bug that has come up again and again for Sims 4 is during build mode, but sadly, I don't think this is going to easily be fixed. Basically, what's happening is an extreme form of simulation lag. People are going into build mode and sometimes it freezes entirely and they have to quit the game. This is really frustrating. I do hope they address it, but like I said, I'm unfortunately thinking this is not going to be an easy fix. One Sims 4 bug I admit I've never dealt with, this happens when you take the frame photographs from the university housing walls especially and you place it in the Sims inventory. Apparently the photographs turn black. This is a really strange glitch. Hopefully it has an easy fix, but it is specifically with framed photos. Now, high school years has many hiccups and one is prom. And we all pretty much know about this. There actually is a workaround for it. 
But the thing is, it is still an official gameplay feature, and I don't think Simmer should have to do a workaround. Basically, if there's a Get Famous talent showcase at the same time as Prom, Prom doesn't happen at all. Both events show up on the calendar, and The Sims might be invited and might not be invited to Prom, but you really can't play through with it. So basically, you have to cancel out all events on that calendar day in order for Prom to exist. In addition, I do know that Simmers have also had other issues that you're commonly reporting, such as not being able to graduate. Now, Sims 4 loves its weird relationship issues, and this also is causing many players to have their partners turn into siblings. This seems to happen especially when they change their Sims clothes. This is really strange and not something that has happened to me, but a lot of players that have never used mods or CC change their sims clothes and all of a sudden someone that they were married to for example becomes their brother. Someone did actually offer a solution to this bug. The first one is to of course download MCC mod and set up the relationships as you want to or you can save the family to the library, switch the game to another family, and so that game does not remove the played family from the world. Now Cottage Living I think brought some pretty good gameplay and it's a pretty good expansion pack but many are still struggling in many ways and that includes animals dying. For example, the chicken coop when you place it on the lot and you buy chickens for the chicken coop, sometimes the eggs just disappear. At some point between placing the egg in the coop to hatch and the time the egg is supposed to hatch, the egg just simply disappears. In addition to that, some people have aging off and the chicken age says young adult and then randomly the reaper just shows up and takes the animal away. Meanwhile, some Sinsor players are even having trouble placing lots from the gallery. In this particular instance, the entire town's lots become unplayable. A green or orange explanation point shows up on the Manage World screen. The Sims can't go to those lots, and if you've already loaded into the lot, it is completely gone. And this person did not have any CC or mods installed, and like I said, a lot of other Simmers were also saying they were experiencing this. Now, Island Living came out a few years ago now, but one of its gameplay bugs did rise to the top, reported in the last month. And that is the fear of the ocean, which Sims are experiencing regardless of what world they are in. In addition to getting that tense mood lid, the Sims were also getting angry. Now, Dream Home Decorator, I would say, came out with lots of bugs, but one of these bugs in particular that rose to the top concerns for Simmers was in, of course, build mode. Items placed on small shelves and modular pieces of furniture such as clothing racks and shelves will have their items removed upon loading the lot. And as you can imagine, this only adds to the irritation when you're trying to do the job that comes with that pack. And last but not least, Seasons is giving some simmers a lot of trouble no matter what the weather brings. And with this, it has to do with clothing. So Sims won't change into cold weather or hot weather outfits when they leave the house. If it changes automatically, then they won't change back into their regular clothes before they come home. So that rounds up the list of the most commonly reported bugs in the past month for Sims 4. So like I said, there are far more bugs on the forums, and that does include old bugs that have been going on forever and always, but these are just the most recent and most frequent reports. I looked at the numbers and I also looked at the dates they were last reported. Sadly, what I think happens is that the newer reports vary older reports, and issues like broken wedding stories and dine out pack, they tend to get pushed to the back burner. So I will say, if you do have bugs in your Sims 4 game, the best thing you can do if they're not related to mods or CC is to report them and report them often. I do understand that if you've been reporting something for a while and kind of giving up on it, but like I said, I'm just guessing that the top pages are the ones that are probably most likely to get paid attention to. Now, do I think all Sims 4 bugs are going to be fixed. Unfortunately, I don't, but I do hope that the Sims team continues to make progress on at least some of these. So let me know, were you surprised by any of these and what did you expect to be the top concerns for this month? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next one.